I know Eli Manning has been here before. I know that he has won huge playoff games in Lambeau Fields in round two, winning Super Bowls. I will never, ever take that away from Eli. But if you have watched him and the Giants offense, there are no reasons to actually believe that Eli and the Giants will get it together. Heck, even against the Redskins on Sunday, that big win for the Giants wasn't like Eli Manning and the offense had a great game at all. Look, Eli Manning has been pedestrian at best in 2016. Giants fans don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. And let's also remember, Eli Manning didn't play great against Green Bay in a week five defeat. I mean, the numbers are on the screen right there. And keep in mind, the Packers defense much better now than they were in early October. Eli Manning's had a knack to throw the ball to the other team all year. It's alarming and frustrating if you're a Giants fan. It's also, being fair, not all on Eli. The run game is suspect. Rookie Paul Perkins, he barely played this year. My opinion, the best option. The offensive line isn't very good. And do you trust any receivers other than Odell Beckham Jr.? I don't. Now, in theory, and I acknowledge this, Beckham should dominate. And I bet he plays well. And he's been unstoppable this year. And you know, I don't think the trip to Miami was any kind of deal at all. But I'm very interested in seeing Odell Beckham Jr.'s emotions in his first ever playoff game. Too amped? Too much to prove? Are we going to see the Odell Beckham Jr. that spirals out of control? Is Eli Manning going to have to babysit him? You know, this isn't your older brother's Packer defense, okay? This Packer defense has actually been solid during this winning streak for Green Bay. And I think the interception number on your screen, that's as important as anything. Look, points per game, nice. But they're getting the ball back for Aaron Rodgers. They're taking it away. Ha ha, Clifton Dix has been great. Clay Matthews, too. He should be able to get pressure on Eli Manning. Look, I get it. I know what Giants fans are saying. This is Eli Manning's time to shine when the calendar flips to January. But if you have actually watched football in 2016, there are no legit reasons to believe it's actually going to happen.